Hello everyone, here is the storyline for the episode that airs tonight. In this episode, Jihyun took Saran's cell phone and ended the call from the mysterious caller. He told Saran that it was a pissing call. Apart from that, the mysterious caller also asked Jihyun to give him 5 million won without telling anyone, especially the police. Jihyun confided in Jaguk about this. Jaguk just realized that the little girl who was hit by Jihyun two years ago was Saran's biological daughter. The thing he emphasized the most was that Dajong must not know about this. It turns out that Dajong didn't hear Jihoon and Jaguk's conversation at all. She only heard Jaguk's calling secretary Kim. Later that day, Saran told Aja, twin from Hanmari, that Dajong had found her daughter. She also mentioned that Yang and Bobe's secretaries were aware. This makes Songjil enthusiastic to meet the Jung and ask where the Jung's biological daughter is. Before meeting the Jung, Songjil was beaten first by Johan because Johan was sick of seeing Songjil calling himself a father and constantly looking for the Jung's biological daughter. After being beaten by Johan, he was also given money by the Jung because he knew that the salary of a driver like Songjil was not big. Apart from that, she warned Songjil not to look for her daughter again. Then, Jihoon told the Jung that Jihoon received a USB where the contents of the USB were news about the arrest of the hit and run perpetrator Song Yi. He told the Jung that Jihoon watched the video while looking shaken and scared. This made the Jung wonder why Jihoon watched the news and was scared. At the end of this episode, Sharon lost Song Yi's photo and she thought the Jung took it. She went into the Jung's room with the intention of looking for the photo, but she didn't find it. Instead, she stole the report written by the Jung. The next day, she made the Jung drink ginkgo tea mixed with sleeping pills, so that the Jung fell asleep and couldn't meet an important client. The person who finally met the client was Saran, and because the meeting was a success, Saran returned to work at Dreamfoot. Okay, everyone, that's the storyline this time. Thank you for watching my video.